What's going on everybody? Today we're going to look at a deck that doesn't include any legendaries that I've been using to help me uh, grind the ladder. Now prior to this I was rocking Engineer and it got me to around the 4000 mark pretty easily but then I started facing people with Harley Quinn, Dryad and they were also using the Engineer deck um, so I had to have a lot of luck and they didn't have to have nearly as much luck with their positioning since they did have those two cards in their deck. So I decided to switch some things out and the major change that I made was this chemi chemist card that reduces the armor of the monsters on the board. Now take note that with one level, so 100 mana, it goes from 6% armor destruction to 16%, which is significant damage. The other cards I have in the deck is a Plague Doctor, which helps a lot in the early game. But one thing a lot of people don't know is that Plague Doctors can actually crit, and it does some pretty significant damage. The other ones I got are the Wind Archer. If you have Boreas, definitely use that instead. However, if you don't, Wind Archer is kind of like a, an off-brand Boreas. Not nearly as good, but it still does a trick. Um, other than that, I got Bombardier for the crowd control. Really helps with the bosses as well, and it does some significant damage. And lastly, the Vampire for my mana card. Now, I did just get Boreas, so I'm going to select him in place of my Wind Archer. But again, if you don't have Boreas, go with the Wind Archer. It does just as well. So we're going to jump into a quick game here, and I'm going to show you how it works. Now this deck is actually really straightforward. Unlike some of the other buff cards that people use, you don't have to rely on um, your Boreas to be directly next to him because uh, the chemist can attack from anywhere and apply the buff effect. Got two vampires down and a Boreas. So I'm going to upgrade my vampires first for that extra bonus, uh, the extra mana bonus. I have a Plague Doctor start as well, which is great. I'm just going to keep dropping cards right now. Got a ton of mana coming in, so I should be able to drop a lot. Another Boreas would be nice. There we go. We got it. And one more card drop, and then I'm going to upgrade my Boreas. There we go. So it went from about what, 120 critical hits to the 300 range with a symbol, uh, simple... Upgrade of the Boreas. Got too many Buccaneers. We'll combine those. And let's see what the damage looks like when I upgrade the Chemist. 322. Now 352. 304. We'll just keep upgrading Boreas. That extra damage. Gonna give uh, some love to my Plague Doctor as well. Gonna merge to the Boreas. See if I can get lucky here. I'll take that. Combine the Plague Doctors. Only need one. Same with the Chemist. Alright. Bedlam is the first boss. So I am a bit worried because I only have a... Uh, Buccaneer with level 1. If he doesn't get the stun, he did not. That is very unfortunate. If he did get the stun, I would have been just fine. Bedlam wouldn't have had the opportunity to change my board. But that wasn't the case. However, it could have been worse. Do some merging here. Alright, not terrible. Gonna get some mana. What do I want to do here? Let's get one more card, see what it is. All right, Boreas. So I'm going to actually just combine these two Witch Doctors. That is not a good scenario. Get a little bit more mana. Combine these two Buccaneers. Oh, it's very laggy. Okay. So that actually isn't terrible. I'll merge these because, again, we only need one. Sit on this for a little bit, get some mana with my vampires, then we're going to do some upgrading. There we go, Boris. Alright, we're going to need to do some merging here. It's looking a bit shady. Come on, these two. Come on, the Plague Doctors. That works. 
chemist a little bit. And we'll give Boreas another level for the max one. Tribunal coming up. Let's see if we can get another Plague Doctor level and get that uh, the Cloud Spawn to help with the clearing before a Tribunal comes. All right. This should be manageable. Um, he actually has a beefier Tribunal than I do. All right, yep. And I can handle this without a problem. There we go. Okay, not terrible as far as uh, the cards he decided to take out. Did some good damage to the, the enemy too. Took out some vital cards. That'd be fantastic if he's unable to kill this, which he's not. Perfect. Next boss, we've got a Warlock. Very nice. So I'm just going to sit here, not really doing much except upgrading here and there. To see how we look against the opponent. It looks like he is slightly ahead. So knowing that, I'm going to merge two vampires. Merge two chemists. I'm actually going to combine these two plague doctors as well. That is unfortunate. That is not the card I wanted. All right, make sure I get enough mana to drop another card before I do any merging. I seem to actually be in an okay position now. So I'm going to focus on upgrading my cards. Get these two vampires. Now another Boreas would be very nice to have. Find these two Buccaneers. There we go, just like that. So, as you can see, not a ton of strategy involved. Make sure that you don't have a deck full of Plague Doctors or Chemists because they don't really stack. Um, and then, yeah, tink tinker with it. If you want to explore some other buff cards, you know, um, it requires a bit more luck because of the positioning needed. But um, there you go. Hope you enjoyed.